for the second time in a row, a vintage Galvatron figure has surprised me. This is really starting to become bad comedy. Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with a follow-up to my Transformers Energon Galvatron review. I just posted his review last night and during the review I stated that he had no knee articulation and in the comments of the video and on my Facebook page I was corrected and people say that he did. So I'm taking a closer look at the figure and yes he does have knee articulation but man, is it tight. Now, when I tried to transform him or do the articulation, every time I'd try it, you know, he'd have the transformation where his leg bends here. But if you get your fingers in here just right, you can bend his legs. So check it out. Galvatron does have a knee bend. Listen to those ratchets. And man, that is just, that's ungodly tight. So no wonder I never discovered this. I mean, I had this figure, I had the Megatron version, never ever realized they had knee articulation before. So yes, his head can do a complete 360. His arms can go up and down, in and out. Legs up and down, in and out. And there is a knee bend. Uh, there's also bicep rotation. So if he had ankle tilt and a waist rotation, he, he would be damn near comparable to our newer figures. So, yeah, that is something I never knew and something I really appreciate about collecting this line. So after all these years, the figures are still more than meets the eye. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon so you'll get notified when I upload new reviews. And I'm still trying my damnedest to reach 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ha!